The global supply chain crisis is reaching catastrophic proportions. Since the burst of the sanitary outbreak, supply chains had never caught a break. Lockdowns, port closures, congestion, factory shutdowns, trucking delivery delays, shipping container shortages, and a lack of enough qualified workers have taken a toll on supply chain operations, global manufacturing, and business sales. On top of the problems we already had in 2021, the conflict between Russia and Ukraine has caused severe damages to critical sectors of this gigantic trade network. The system has become extremely fragile, and the combination of dozens of unsolved problems is threatening to push global and local supply chains to a breaking point in 2022. For that reason, we have decided to compile very alarming statistics that reveal the factors aggravating shortages, shipping disruptions, and other critical issues causing choke points all across the system. But before checking this list, please support us by leaving a thumbs up in this video and subscribing to our channel not to miss our upcoming lists. Without further ado, here are 35 numbers that expose the global supply chain breakdown is accelerating at a breathtaking speed. 1. Around 94% of Fortune 1000 companies have experienced supply chain disruptions at some point in the last 24 months. 2. Over the past two years, supply chain disruptions led consumers to downgrade the reputation of major businesses by 54%, with 41% of respondents citing product shortfalls and 27% citing delivery delays as the main factors weighing on consumer confidence, according to a survey conducted by Statista. 3. Apart from pandemic-related interruptions, the events that resulted in the most significant supply chain bottlenecks over the past year were mergers and acquisitions, up 66% from a year ago. Extreme weather, rising to 41%. Factory fires, accounting for 37%. And business sales, 33%. Four. As for the U.S. domestic supply chain, the top causes of disruptions unrelated to the health crisis over the past 24 months were IT and power outages, 68%, adverse weather, 62%, labor shortages, 51%, and cyber attacks, 50%. 5. To illustrate just how vulnerable supply chains are, Data from ISM shows that in the nine months following the onset of the health crisis, 4,200 supply chain disruptions were recorded. 6. Since 2020, the imbalances between supply and demand have only grown wider, resulting in a major inventory distortion as retailers struggle to anticipate consumer needs, oftentimes over-ordering items to prevent shortages. After experiencing extensive shortages and delays, companies in many sectors have boosted their buffer stocks, filling warehouses with products and components as insurance against future disruption. However, consumer trends have greatly shifted, which has left global retailers with an estimated overstock of $626 billion in products that are not selling at the forecasted pace, while the estimated value for out-of-stock items consumers are looking for right now is $1.14 trillion. Data from the IHL Group shows. 7. Inventory distortion caused some acute losses in the global retail industry in 2021. The firm's estimates indicated that losses amounted to $580 million for store level, $512 million for supply chain, and $677 million for manufacturers. 8. At the same time, a 2021 survey conducted by Morgan Stanley found that 56% of retailers plan to increase inventories in 2022 rather than reduce them. 9. On average, U.S. retail operations have a supply chain accuracy of only 63%. This can result in significant delays and restocking issues. For instance, in 2021, 
34% of businesses shipped an order late due to selling a product that wasn't in stock. 10. Calculations shared by the research firm AdAge have shown that while supply chain disruptions and shortages affect only 4% of the inventory of large corporations, for small businesses, over 40% of their inventory is impacted by these same factors. 11. According to industry executives, the leading supply chain market constraints for 2022 are containing cost increases, with 32% of respondents reporting concerns with rising prices and adapting to customer expectations mentioned by 27% of the surveyed. 12. On top of that, 24.7% of supply chain executives report that the biggest supply chain management challenge for 2022 is soaring delivery costs, according to Reuters. 13. Scarcity continues to add immense pressure to the current market environment. At least 11% of goods are currently stuck on container ships waiting outside ports around the world, according to the Kiel Trade Indicator, with most of them in China. 14. The Everstream Analytics Annual Supply Chain Risk Report highlighted that at the end of 2021, vessels were waiting on average 38 to 45 days for a berth at the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles. Before the pandemic, the average waiting period was only nine days. 15. While port congestion data for March captures the early effects of the Ukraine crisis, it does not reflect the lockdown in Shanghai, with traffic jams having increased significantly in Chinese ports due to the zero-tolerance policy in China and in the North Sea due to the conflict in Ukraine, global schedule reliability is expected to drop by 10 percentage points by June, according to Sea Intelligence Estimates. 16. 42% of supply management organizations stated that increased cost to supply management due to port congestion and shipping delays was one of their top concerns in 2022. 43% of those in the same survey listed limited availability of raw materials or supply as a top concern. 17. Inverto's annual raw material study revealed that 89% of global businesses were experiencing limited availability of raw materials. Roughly 49% of respondents reporting raw material shortages are from the manufacturing industry, 16% from the mechanical engineering sector, and 11% from the automotive market. 18. Global paper output is expected to drop by 4 million tons in 2022, falling to 416 million tons. That's the lowest level since 2018. 19. As the supply of raw materials goes down, prices continue to escalate. During all of 2021, plastic resins were in short supply, resulting in a 50% increase in prices by January 2022, supply chain dive data revealed. 20. A study released by Fortune pointed out that wildfires, mudslides, and flooding delayed lumber shipments, leading to a shortage that saw the cash market price for lumber reach $1,111 per thousand board feet in 2022. That's almost triple its bottom price in August 2021. 21. When we talk about natural resources, we often forget to mention the most important of all resources, water. According to the United Nations, two-thirds of the global population will face water shortages by 2025. Right now, over 70% of the water we use goes toward agriculture, which means food production is highly vulnerable. Everstream analysts expect industrial users to face growing water usage restrictions in the coming years as regulators impose new requirements to install water-saving technologies or limit consumption in certain regions or when supplies are limited. 
Such rules are already affecting industrial development along China's Yangtze River. 22. The semiconductor market is a very important part of global manufacturing and supply chains. Unfortunately, a wide variety of chips will remain in short supply throughout 2022. As some component lead times push into 2023, the shortage is expected to last another 24 months before it recedes, according to the New York Times. 23. In 1990, the U.S. accounted for 80% of the global production of semiconductors. In 2020, that number has declined to less than 20%. 24. As of 2021, only 11% of semiconductor chips were made in the United States. 25. Ukraine supplies approximately 50% of the whole world's neon gas. Since neon gas is used to produce semiconductor chips, governments and businesses around the world are bracing for another round of price increases in the coming months. 26. Crucial to creating catalytic converters for cars, Deloitte data shows that palladium has increased in price by 80% since the beginning of the conflict in Ukraine. 27. As the rate of infections continues to rise in China, 77% of American businesses have reported that the prospect of another virus resurgence is increasing their supply chain concerns, according to an Oracle poll. 28. A New York Times analysis predicts that the shipping container shortage will extend until 2026. 29. Right now, 73% of supply chain executives say that finding, training, and retaining qualified labor is a top challenge, according to Inbound Logistics. 30. On the last day of December 2021, the number of job openings in the United States was 10.9 million, with the job openings rate at 6.8%. This means that even if every unemployed person with experience in the durable goods manufacturing industry were employed, only 65% of vacant jobs would be filled. 31. 75% of companies already announced plans to pass on increased raw material costs to customers this year. 32. Because of supply chain disruptions, 55% of companies already have or plan to downgrade their growth outlooks, Accenture data shows. 33. Proactive supply chain management means that the end user is always able to address shifts in supply or demand before they become critical. Right now, only 22% of companies have a proactive supply chain network, and the fact that fewer than a quarter of companies operate this way exposes their susceptibility to suffering from unexpected interruptions. 34. There will be four times as many cyber attacks on supply chain software in 2022 than there were in 2021. And 35. Supply chain disruptions are expected to cause a massive 62% loss in finances for businesses this year. And that's according to Forbes. These numbers betray a very gloomy outlook for global supply chains in 2022. We've been witnessing continued disruptions for 24 consecutive months. And as if that wasn't already distressing enough, executives are bracing for much more turbulence this year. As conflicts worldwide escalate, global manufacturing slows down, and the imbalance between supply and demand gets bigger and bigger. The global supply chain breakdown is getting worse by the day, and this means that all of these problems will stay with us for years. Thank you for watching. Please send this to your friends and family, subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to your comments below this video.